Welcome to the first annual ReZero Hunger Games, a completely randomized battle royale that I set up a long time ago when I was drunk. It's about to get weird, so let's not waste any time and start this off by introducing the 24 characters who are about to fight to the death. District 1, Natsuki, Subaru, and Amelia. They are the two main characters, but don't worry, in the Hunger Games, there's no such thing as plot armor. District 2, Rom and Roswell. These two might actually end up killing each other. District 3, the two half-blood siblings, Garfield and Frederica. Will incest be enough to keep them alive? We're about to find out. District 4, two of the Archbishops, Regulus and Lai. District 5, the Assassin Sisters, Elsa and Meili. District 6 is Sekhmet and Rem. Two characters that love to sleep, except they won't catch a W if they're catching Disease instead. District 7 is Team Spirit, that's what they smell like. Puck and Beatrice, two very powerful spirits, except now their contracts are with each other. District 8, Wilhelm and his wife, Theresia. They might be divorced by the time this is over. District 9, Zarestia and Hallibull are beloved characters from the Sloth If have returned for another appearance, except I have a feeling they're not in Kararagi anymore. District 10, my personal favorites, Echidna and Otto. May the Autos be ever in their favor. District 11, the two most powerful characters in the series, Reinhardt and Petra. Last but not least, District 12, the breast district ever, Priscilla and Minerva. That, ladies and gentlemen, is today's lineup for the ReZero Hunger Games. Before we begin, let me know your predictions in the comments section. Personally, I'm rooting for District 10, and also, I've always wanted to say this, but... <clears throat> This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends has millions of players, dozens of bosses, and most notably, hundreds of unique playable champions with beautiful designs. They also just introduced an entirely new faction called the Shadowkin, so use my links below to download Raid yourself to your mobile device or PC. All these new champions are extremely badass. The Shadowkin were clearly inspired by medieval Japan, but with the twist of some dark fantasy elements as well. After vanishing for hundreds of years, they suddenly emerged from beyond the brimstone path, but whether they want freedom or vengeance, their intentions are unknown and the only way to find out why they've returned is to meet them in game. One of my favorite Shadowkin champions is Genzin. His sword in particular is one of the coolest weapons in the game, along with Jintoro's weapon which looks like it would absolutely shred the clan boss. Another new champion I really want is Yoshi the Drunkard. I'm just a big fan of his incredibly detailed, meticulous design. The other day, I pulled a 5 star legendary and he's basically the ultimate tank. He's super OP and killing enemies with his Earthshaker skill is extremely satisfying. So what are you waiting for? Go to the video description, click on my links, and support my channel by downloading Raid today. Once you're in, you can find me in game under the name Echidnut. It's that easy. Just click the link in the description, and I'll see you guys in game. Alright, where were we? Oh yeah, the ReZero Hunger Games have officially begun. The cornucopia is filled with items, and the bloodbath will commence after the countdown. One. Making the first move, Garfield gets a backpack full of camping equipment. I didn't take him for a camper, I figured he'd be more of a rusher, but I digress. Tia runs away from the cornucopia, Biako finds a canteen full of water, and Satella pauses time for everyone except Subaru, allowing him to grab a powerful set of weapons and armor. Even in the Hunger Games, our boy Subaru is still getting assistance from the Witch of Envy. That's a bit of an unfair advantage if you ask me. Minerva and her teammate Priscilla both run away. Imagine that in slow motion. Rem and Sekhmet run away as well. I guess they're both awake, that's good to hear. Puck takes a spear from inside the cornucopia. An interesting weapon choice for Puck. Lai runs away. Theresia finds a bow. Another interesting weapon choice. I guess she's the bow saint? Frederica runs away, and... <laughs> Reinhardt finds a dojin of himself and Regulus. You want the numbers, Mason? Yeah, that's the key to survival right there. Hallible gives the video a like. Thank you, Hallible. Hey, everyone. Be like Hallible. Wow. Finally some action. Wilhelm shoves a spear up Elsa's ass. That's first blood, ladies and gentlemen. Wilhelm just eliminated Elsa in one of the most brutal ways possible. I guess after witnessing that, Rom and Otto decide to run away. Meanwhile, Dona throws rocks at Roswell from a distance. That doesn't sound very effective. Anyway, Amelia uses ice magic to create a giant hammer that's surprisingly realistic. Petra runs away from the cornucopia, and we can just ignore this last one. So that was the bloodbath, ladies and gentlemen. Not exactly as bloody as I expected, because most of the characters ran away, but now we're moving on to day one, so hopefully we'll get some more action this time. Frederica tries to cook food with fire magic, but fucks it up terribly and burns all her supplies. That's unfortunate. Garf turns into John Cena, Wilhelm tries to sleep through the entire day, and Subaru dies from an infection. For a second I thought it said fanfiction, but I guess 
an infection makes a bit more sense. Return by death doesn't work in the Hunger Games though, so rest in peace to Subaru. Minerva tends to lies wounds. Okay, that's like exactly what Minerva would be doing if she really was in a battle royale, so that's pretty accurate. Theresia picks flowers. Yeah, again, it's almost a bit weird how realistic this simulator has been so far. Everyone seems to be staying in character, except for Petra. Yeah, Petra joins the witch cult. All right, Petra. Sekhmet and Tia argue about politics. Dona and Priscilla split up. Puck, Rem, and Hallible escape an attack by the Great Rabbit. Yeah, like I said, guys, I made this a really long time ago, so I totally forgot I added the Great Rabbit. I think the White Whale and the Black Serpent are in this too, so it might get interesting. Beiko runs away from Roswell and Rom stabs Otto in the back with the trident. No. Best boy has been eliminated. I'm pretty disappointed about this one, guys, though. I'm also not surprised he was killed by Rom of all people. Reinhardt stalks Melee. That's illegal. Emilia is so hungry, she tries to eat a lesser spirit. All right, it is the Hunger Games, but Emilia, it's only been one day. I think you should calm down. Regulus accidentally steps on a landmine. Wait, does that mean he's dead? I'm assuming it killed him, right? Okay, four cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Yeah, with the end of day one, we lost Elsa, Subaru, Otto, and Regulus. It's not looking good for districts 1, 4, 5, and 10, but let's continue. There's still plenty of time for a comeback. Night 1. Theresia, Minerva, Frederica, Dona, and Puck sleep in shifts. To be a part of that squad, Puck is one lucky son of a bitch. Wait, no. No, Puck's mother is not a bitch. I didn't mean that. Sekhmet questions her sanity, and Lai gathers as much food as he can. That's kind of scary if you consider what food means to Lai. Priscilla explores a cave. I'd like to explore her cave. Bieko watches Amelia while she sleeps. That's kind of sus, Bieko. Rem convinces Hallible to snuggle with her. I can't blame her. Hallible would make an excellent pillow. Tia loses sight of where she is. Rom sets up camp. Reinhardt climbs a tree, and Wilhelm prays to the Witch of Envy. Amen to that, Wilhelm. Roswell steps on a landmine that triggers a chain reaction killing both himself and Petra. No, not Pet- Actually, you know what? Fuck Petra. I'm happy about this. Garfield receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor and... Once again, let's ignore this last one. Day two. Sekhmet makes a slingshot. Frederica picks vegetables. Rom reads the web novel. And Priscilla gets her memories eaten. At least it wasn't her mammaries. Reinhardt travels using flying magic. I don't think that's magic. Garfield sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Minerva escapes a Snowblight's attack. Oh, a Snowblight is the demon beast from Frozen Bonds, for anyone that doesn't know. Melee gains a divine protection. Hallible runs away from Amelia, and Rem dies of dysentery. I actually don't remember what dysentery means. And I regret Googling that. Rem, I'm so sorry. That's a really shitty way to die. Dona just barely escapes the white whale's mist. Well, thank God. If she got hit by it, my YouTube channel might disappear. Biako pledges her life to the witch cult. All right, rule number one of the Hunger Games, never trust a lolly. Wilhelm builds a shrine dedicated to Puck. Someone's a simp. Theresia overpowers Tia, killing her, and Lai hunts for other tributes, marking the end of day two. Same as last night, four cannon shots again. This time, it's for Roswell, Petra, Rem, and Tia. And the board has started looking a bit more even. All right, so basically nothing happened during night two, and day three was also boring. Literally no one died, so we might as well just time skip to night three. Wilhelm kills Hallible as he tries to run away. Meanwhile, Melee pees the bed. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with her, guys. I think Melee wants to take this video in a completely different direction, so we're just not even going to acknowledge her anymore. Rom and Amelia sleep together. All right, never mind. Now I like the direction this video is going. Reinhardt dreams about Priscilla. Relatable. Theresia makes a bed out of dead animals. Biako and Garf start a fire, but accidentally burn down their camp. Minerva, Sekhmet, Dona, Frederica, and Puck sleep in shifts, and Lai cooks his food before putting his fire out. Lai is always thinking about food, isn't he? Well, that was night three. Let's proceed to day four. Biako and Frederica split up. Wilhelm forces Minerva to kill either Garf or Puck, and she decides to kill Garfield. Wait. Okay, so Minerva killed Garfield, but Wilhelm forced her to do it. That was kind of confusing to read. I think Wilhelm. Wilhelm's gotten a bit sadistic. I mean, right off the bat, he sodomized Elsa. He also killed Hallible, and now he's forcing Minerva to kill people against her will. I think something's wrong with Wilhelm. His wife is going crazy as well. Theresia strangles Amelia with a rope. All right, so if this was canon, Puck would try to end the world after that. So I'm curious to see how he's gonna react. Melee sprains her ankle while running from Sekhmet. Rom, Lai, and Dona escape from Big Chungus. Priscilla dies from hypothermia. Whoa, now that's unexpected. 
expected. Or you know what? Maybe Puck's trying to freeze everything, right? That would make sense. Reinhardt prays to Volcanica and the cannon fires four times once again, signifying the deaths of Hallible, Garfield, Amelia, and Priscilla. Districts 1 and 9 have been completely eliminated, while 7 and 8 are the only ones with both tributes still alive. District 8 appears to be in the lead. Wilhelm and Theresia each have a kill streak of 2, but I'm not losing hope. I still believe in District 10. Alright, let's continue to Night 4. Sekhmet is attacked in her sleep, but survives. Yeah, you don't want to mess with Sekhmet while she's trying to sleep. Dona pees the bed or in other words, spills the tea. Theresia receives fresh food from Raid Shadow Legends, and these four characters sleep in shifts. Rom gets a backpack, Meili forms a contract with Lai, and Puck and Wilhelm stay awake all night talking about life. That's wholesome. Day 5. The divine protection of the Sword Saint transfers to Biako, and Reinhardt questions his sanity. <laughs> That's an appropriate reaction from Reinhardt, because if Biako became the Sword Saint, that would mean she's Reinhardt's daughter, even though Reinhardt's a virgin and much, much much younger than Biako. Anyway, Minerva finds an apple tree. Frederica falls and breaks both her legs but heals herself with water magic. Dona prays to Volcanica. Rom hunts for other tributes. And Meili hunts demon beasts for food. Hey, that's what they were made for, right Daphne? I don't know if I would call this hunting though, considering Meili can literally control demon beasts. Wilhelm makes a slingshot who gives a shit. Wow, Puck just got a double kill. What an amazing play. Ladies and gentlemen, District 7 has officially taken the lead. Let's continue to Night number five. All right, not much happened. No one died. Let's just time skip to day six. Wilhelm practices archery, Minerva boils water, and Frederica slices Biako's stomach open and takes a bite out of her intestines. Maybe the most graphic death so far, Beatrice has been eliminated. Reinhardt doesn't give a shit though. He's just fishing casually. Meili uses ice magic to turn Dona into a statue? No. No, no, I'd like to challenge this play. I know for a fact Meili can't use ice magic. That's just BS. Sekhmet is pricked by thorns while picking berries. I don't know why she didn't just use her unseen hands. Rom finds a flip phone but doesn't know how to use it. I want her number. Puck thinks about home and that concludes day s- Oh, never mind. It's not over yet. We've just encountered an event. The white whale appears and Sekhmet is erased by the whale's mist. Puck and Minerva try to 1v1 the whale but lose. Wouldn't that be a 2v1? Reinhardt escapes. Meili dies. Rom escapes. Escapes, Frederica escapes, and Wilhelm escapes too. That was insane. Six cannon shots can be heard in the distance. We lost Beiko, Dona, Sekhmet, Puck, Minerva, and Meili, and we are now left with our final four. Rom, Frederica, Wilhelm, and Reinhardt. It looks like Wilhelm's got the most kills at the moment, but let's be honest. Reinhardt is the most overpowered character in ReZero. There's just no way he loses this, right? Rom stabs Reinhardt with a tree branch. All right, I guess that was Reinhardt's weakness all along. This whole time, all we had to do was poke him with a stick and he would just fucking evaporate, I guess. These Hunger Games have really gone off the rails. It started out pretty realistic, but wow. It looks like Frederica passed away as well, which means we're left with just Rom and Wilhelm. The Sword Demon versus the Hornless Oni. Without Roswall, Rom hasn't been replenishing her mana, so I'd say she's at a significant disadvantage here. Wilhelm's a very powerful swordsman, although he's certainly getting older and he's long past his prime, I still think he would beat Rom. What makes this fight interesting though is that both of these characters have insane one-shot potential. The first one to land a solid hit pretty much wins the fight. Rom has a ranged advantage, but Wilhelm's a very fast gap closer. If Rom is somehow able to fight him under ideal conditions though, I'd say she at least has a chance. This could potentially end in a tie, but either way, I'm expecting to see a very epic battle. Rom unknowingly eats toxic berries. The winner is Wilhelm from District 8. I can't say I expected him to win, but I'll accept the results nonetheless. Nonetheless. Wilhelm is a great character who definitely fought hard for this victory and I'm happy he was able to survive. Personally, I still think Dona's death was a load of fucking horse shit, but she did make it pretty far so I'm at least proud of what she accomplished. Congratulations to Wilhelm for winning the ReZero Hunger Games. I hope you have a safe journey home and a nice wholesome celebration with your wife. Oh wait, that's right, she's dead. Well anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. I planned on making this video a long time ago, but I totally forgot about it, so I figured it's better late than never. Don't worry though, I'm still gonna make videos about Spring 2021. That's all for now though. Keep talking about ReZero. I'm out. Peace.